This is Dan. And this is me. And this is our week six of our 102 block for Lindy One. And we were looking at Charleston. So we revised our basic Charleston, our 40s, 40s Charleston footwork, which was our rock, step, kick, step, swing, and kick, step. We turn around, short signs, we had our rock, step, kick, step, swing, and kick, step thinking about keeping it really small and we spoke about having a nice bounce and a little bit of this four posture rock step kick step swing kick step we then looked at playing with some variations which we had a lot of fun with so we can swap out the swing and put other fun stuff there so we did a stomp so using the swing leg we had rock step kick step stomp kick step and we had a double stomp, rock, step, kick, step, stomp, stomp, kick, step. We had a knock behind, a rock, step, kick, step, knock, kick, step. Um, we can do a double there, so you go rock, step, kick, step, double, kick, step. Um, and all of this is partnered, so we're here. A rock, step, kick, step, stomp, kick, step, or tap behind, tap, kick, step. There is also solo variations, so your partner can be doing something completely different to you. So if Dan and I start off doing our basic, and then we can start playing with the variations. Oh, we both did another swing. <laughs> all fine. We then looked at two moves where they are actually lead follow moves. Yep. So the first one we did was our swing and slide. This is initiated by the leads. So the whole shape looks like a rock, step, kick, step, swing and slide. The way the leads let me know that they're going to do it, face this way, is they prep for the swing with a little bit of an extra down. Yep. So a bit of that. Down. Swing back. So as a follower, I don't always get the prep. I may not do that, but I feel my lead do it. So then I can do an extra big swing with them and then into the slide. So if we're socialing it and I don't know when it's going to be. Badu, 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 badu. Oh, there it is. And I can join in on that swing and slide. So I felt down be like, I'm going to go down. So that was our swing and slide moment, so the swing, and then just a big step backwards and you slide the front leg. With the keys being back into your rock step so you can keep dancing. Um, we then also looked at some kick ups. So these were continuous kick steps forwards. So if we do this on the side, we had rock step forwards, forwards, swing, and rock step. So this is a slightly different pattern, so we're going forwards. It's still eight counts on one, two, four, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Because it's on the outside leg swung, swing, it's the one that does our rock step, so it could go straight back into our rock step. So again, face this way, we have rock, step, kick, step, kick, step, swing, and rock, step. The super important difference being that the leads have to move forwards with their body to tell me that it's not a basic Charleston. That's the only way that I know. As soon as you do your kick step here, it's a basic. If you're travelling through it, yeah. then that's... And the body shape does change, so the through's body has to go forwards. If you do these guys, the body is backwards and therefore the follows won't get it. They'll, it'll feel like a swing instead of a kick step. So that was our kick-ups, and then we just played with all of that, put it all together. We spoke a little bit about if the followers miss the prep, and the first thing they notice with the big swing and slide is the swing, and we've already started another variation. Maybe I go tap, I'm like, well, I can't swing from here. We just can catch the slide instead, and that's still fine. And so, yeah, that was our Boy Charleston and variations class.